Hi, my name is Kelly McElligott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions. I have a short tutorial on how to use lists in the Koha system. Today we're going to go from the OPAC and as a patron you can create your own lists or you can see lists that the librarian has chosen to share with the community. At the very top of the OPAC you can see the black bar, that's the static bar and that will always be there no matter where you are in the OPAC. One of the items is lists, and I can drop down and I can see the top lists are the public lists that the library has chosen to share with, with patrons. We can go ahead and choose one of the public lists and see what they've decided to put in our summer reading list. So here I, I can see the contents of what they've created for that summer reading list. To create my own personal list that would be for my private use, I can go ahead and I can first log into my account to do that. As I log into my account, it will bring me to my account, my summary screen. But to add books to my list, then I would go ahead and search the library catalog. And let's go ahead and search the library catalog for the state of Vermont. We're going to go visit. Now in these summary results, I have the option that I can go right to save to lists on each of the items. However, it looks like there are a few that I'm going to want to keep for, to go look at or add to my list. So I could click the button here and pick a few of the, the Vermont books that I think would be a great addition to my list that I'd want to go over into the library to check them out or to see them. So on the left here, I can say save these titles and I want to add it to a new list. A pop-up comes up and it wants me to give my list a title. So there's my list, Vermont. Okay, it looks like it's all set. So now I'm going to go to my account by clicking my name. And on the left here, I can see there's a tab that says your lists. So go ahead and click in that. I can see the list that I've created for my own personal use. I can see my list that I've created for Mont, and there are three items in it. Once I'm in the list contents, I can print the list. So I could print it up before I went into the library so I'd know where to find them. I could also email the list to a friend if we're going to travel together. So now that you now you can get started on making your own lists today. If you have any questions about making lists, please feel free to ask your librarian. Thank you for watching this short tutorial brought to you by Bywater Solutions.